Well, good morning, guys. Welcome back to the cabin. It's a beautiful late October morning. Temperature this morning was only 22 degrees. So a little on the cool side, but uh, there's no breeze. The wind is very calm. So it's a beautiful morning. Be a great morning to uh, go out and maybe get a few birds. But uh, first, I've got some work to do because winter, I think, is on the way. We had a bit of a surprise the other day. Uh, a few inches of snow came down. Wasn't expecting that. I thought it would be just flurries. Uh, it's mostly melted off now, but there's another mess coming in tonight, apparently. Uh, we're looking at what they call, and I hate when they say this, it's a rain, freezing rain, snow event. So in other words, don't know what it's going to do. You know, we could uh, could end up tomorrow morning with uh, several inches of snow on the ground or, or freezing rain or it could just rain. So who knows? Anyways, it is a sign that it's time to get ready for winter. Uh, every winter is different. Um, and I don't want to put this uh, work off any longer. I got to clean up around the camp. It's camp cleanup day for sure. Um, I've got to get everything done because you just don't know. You can't predict the weather. And that's the thing. Every winter is different. I remember, I think it was three winters ago, and it snowed in early November. And I thought, ah, you know, no big deal. That'll melt off and, you know, no, don't worry about it. Because a lot of times we're wondering, hey, are we even going to get a, a, a white Christmas or is it going to be a green Christmas or whatever? Nope. Snowed in early November, kept on snowing, snowed right through to April. So, <laughs> and there was no let up. Uh, so, yeah, so it's, uh, it's time to get done. And uh, this year, I'm kind of wondering if we're going to have a white Halloween. Haven't had one of those for a while. I remember once when I was a kid, I remember trick-or-treating in the, in, the, uh, in the snow. It was snowing out. But that was a long time ago, and it really hasn't happened uh, much since. So uh, anyway, yep, camp cleanup day today. I'm going to get everything cleaned up. My back's feeling much better. Um, also today, I'm going to go for a little walk again, see if I can find a bird. Uh, looking for the uh, ruffed grouse and uh, went out the other day for a walk and I have the video online and uh, I walked 12 miles I've never seen a bird <laughs> Isn't that, you know and then uh, drove I was driving down the road on Sunday and there's a bird right there on the side of the road but anyways it was Sunday so I couldn't shoot it Anyway, uh, I'm going to try my luck again this morning because it is a beautiful morning. And, uh, yeah, so let's get this place cleaned up and then let's go for a quick walk. And I don't think I'm going to walk as far as I did the other day but because I don't have time. But, uh, yeah, we'll walk around, see if we can see a bird and see what happens. salvage some of these old pallets I cut them up for firewood oh, they're great burning in the, in the fall of the year so these are uh, these are hardwood pallets so I don't cut these up for firewood these are are uh, solid and heavy and I keep these around for uh, stacking firewood or putting my equipment on Well, there's still plenty of leaves left to fall, but uh, 
Well, it gives me a start on it. At least it's cleaned up in case it does snow and stay. Anyway, I think we'll take a little break now. Go for a walk. Beautiful morning. See if we can see a bird. If we don't, doesn't matter. Still a beautiful day. Well guys, so far, no luck, but that's all right. It's a beautiful day. You know, sometimes I wish I could live stream this because it is just beautiful out here this morning. I'd like to share this in real time. Ah, it's too bad I can't. Anyway, that's all right. Yeah, what I don't, uh, I may not be getting any birds, but you know what I do have? I wouldn't trade for anything. Oh, hey, I hear a squirrel. Come here, Mr. Squirrel. Where did you go? Hmm. Anyways, he's quiet now. All right, let's carry on. Okay, guys, well, I just saw uh, two birds. Um, I was walking right through here. See these uh, these apple trees? I was walking in through here, and I spooked two, and they flew. I didn't have a chance to even try to get a shot. As you can see how thick it is here. And, uh, yeah, it was really hard walking even through there. But at least I saw two. I scared them. They flew. I tried to run. I ran the whole way around up through that field and tried to come back down the other side and see if I could uh, cut them off or see them again, but nah, they're gone. Anyways, it was nice just to see two. I still have hope. Ah, well, Feels like chicken tonight. I don't know. Anyways, uh, just about back here at the cabin, and uh, I'm happy I saw two. Uh, I figured if I saw them anywhere, that's what it, where it would be. So I walked a little further than I planned, but uh, that's where they like to hang out in those thickets. And that was thick. I mean, there's blackberry bushes and alders and and uh, all that in amongst those apple trees. So. That's where they that's where they like to hang out. But you know what? There's no seeing them. Uh, one thing about a grouse is they have excellent camouflage. And if they're sitting still, you can't see them. Even in the normal woods, like here, you can't see them if they're sitting still. The only way to see them is if they move. And they kind of walk like a chicken. So once once they make a move or they start bobbing around, then you can see them, then you can get one. But in those thickets, you just can't see them until you're right on top of them and then they fly and they fly fast and and they're gone and it's really then it's a matter of luck i mean if you ever think you're going to see them again i ran all the way around the other side but now uh, they hard to say where they went they landed somewhere and then probably ran and they're fast little runners too so uh anyways that's just the way it goes um you know it's uh kind of odd though i mean uh you know, usually it's not that big of a deal to get a few birds. I mean, you know, you you, you walk enough miles, you, you'll get a few. I mean, it's not it's not a, a hard thing to do. But man, this year it's uh, I don't I tell you, there's uh, there don't don't seem to be too many around. As a matter of fact, I was talking to some other guys who have been out hunting them, and you know, I'm I'm hearing that they're not getting a whole lot. So uh, I don't know, maybe they're having a bad year. It happens, you know. It they probably cycle too. All depends on a lot of things, predators, the weather. So anyway, that's the way it goes. Back to the cabin and uh, maybe do some more work and maybe come out later on and try to find one.
Uh, meanwhile, I can enjoy the the fall leaves. They're not going to be around much longer. There, that's uh, that's pretty much camp cleanup. Cleaned up all the uh, old wood and rowel that was laying around. That wood's mostly rotted, and I can't salvage it for anything, or it's got too many nails in it. So uh, throw it there in the burn pit, and uh, sometime, sometime over the winter, I'll burn that. All right, guys, I just had to show you this. All I wanted to do was change the oil in my generator in case I needed it this winter. <laughs> okay, so of course I went to start it uh, to heat up the engine before I changed the oil, and of course I pulled it and the pull cord broke. All right, it happens. Now you would think that an engineer would understand that pull cords sometimes break and that they will probably need to be replaced without taking apart the entire blanking friggin generator i mean this is insane i had to take the whole thing apart just to get at the pull cord assembly anyway i got the uh the cord fixed i'm gonna pull it through but now i gotta piece this thing together and hope that it works I mean, that is crazy. That is crazy. Engineers. Well, we were wondering what's going to happen tonight, whether we're going to get rain, freezing rain, or uh, snow. You can hear that coming down. That is the, that's freezing rain. That's ice. Man, that's going to be a mess tomorrow. All right, guys, I'm going to end the video here. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Uh, if you're new, subscribe. Uh, leave me some comments below. And uh, we'll see you next time back here at the cabin. I'm going back inside. Look at that stupid thing. <laughs> it's nice to wake up to. What are you doing out there? Hey. <laughs>